Kinda like it. Hello and welcome to the training journal for January 23rd, 2019. My name is Jean, spelled like Jean, and let's get into it. First things first, I'm back. I'm back on the train, back onto the Misfit training. Took a week off, maybe a little bit more than a week because they were testing and then life has just kind of been crazy. So I had to take some time off, was doing classwork, but I'm officially, wholeheartedly back on the Misfit train the hatchet train, if you will. Last time I did one of these, I was super excited because I was gonna have my first test week and then a whole cycle and then a retest week and I was gonna be able to show how I progressed. But this is the last cycle before the open, so there is no test week, it's just a cycle. So kind of a bummer, but also pretty cool because they are doing something called die sets which are absolutely terrible. This wasn't from today's session, but this was from yesterday's session. And here's how 300 pounds felt for a die set. A die set is you're supposed to choose a weight that you can hit between 8 to 12. If you get more than that, then you got to keep on going. Um, I ended up hitting 14 reps and man, it was terrible. And it wasn't even like my legs felt like they were going to give up. It was that I, that same feeling right before you're about to throw up, sorry, um, but it's like in your stomach and everything like kind of gets tight. It was that same feeling and you can hear it, that's like the same noise. If, if you know what I'm saying. So, ooh, 14 reps at 300 pounds. Next week when they do it again, you're supposed to get eight to 12. So I'm gonna do the same thing at 310 pounds and see how that feels, which I imagine is not gonna feel uh, any better at all. But enough about yesterday's session. Today I started with a Metcon. It was four rounds, 500 meter row, 21 dumbbell deadlifts. Hold on. You getting stuck as he feet in the mud. You have been caught in the flood. While the water is in water, we run, we put you so the harvest is us. You have been enjoying life, sipping the syrup and a line in the way. Taking whatever you touch, the sword of the wicked is covered in blood. Welcome to the city of the nine sands, pleasure is the peace we can find in. Dive in, ride a shotgun alongside the divide in. Taking the piece of the pie, takes what was provided. We won't be silenced, the path is wide and we found our God in. Blood, sweat, spit, and these bricks for Babylon Made from the dust, these souls be transferred on You have been caught in the flood I have been caught in the blood You need right now You have been caught in the flood Back to the scene right now You have been caught in the flood I have been caught in the blood You need right now You have been caught in the flood Caught in the sea right now You have been caught in the flood <sighs> Ah. 
Wow. All right, so I just finished the deadlift and row workout, the dumbbell deadlift and row. I don't know what I was thinking that would hurt, but that was hurting my legs. That was just a con continuous lactic acid buildup. The only rest was in between movements because I didn't want to stop. I'm not going to stop on the row. I didn't want to break up the deadlifts. Something that I want to get better at doing is imagining what it's going to feel like in the middle of a workout before I start. Because the surprise is almost enough to kind of make you like push back a little bit. This one I wasn't expecting for some reason it to burn so bad in my legs. The rowing and then the deadlift but with a dumbbell you have to go a lot lower than a barbell. And so it ends up kind of being just like a squat, like a weighted squat with with dumbbells at your hand, right? And so it was like rowing and squatting, rowing and doing a dumbbell deadlift, and my legs were on fire. They hurt the entire workout, but it's okay, because I was able to do it unbroken. I was able to do a row at um, under a two minute pace the entire time, which for some people is no big deal, but for me that was a victory. And then doing the dumbbell deadlifts unbroken, also a victory, because it did burn. It did. It did. From there, I went on to the second piece, which was a whole bunch of snatches. It was pretty much snatches for time. The workout was 18 snatches at 70%, 12 snatches at 75%, six snatches at 80%. They said you could power snatch, they said you can touch and go, they said you could squat snatch, pretty much whatever you have to do to get the job done. I am trying to work on my full range of motion and mobility and stability within the snatch. So I decided to do squat snatch the entire time even though I very well could have power snatched that amount and probably been a lot fa absolutely would have been a lot faster at it. But I wanted to work on the squat snatch and they were feeling good until they weren't. And then they stopped feeling good and it became a battle. The crazy thing is, when I became the most aggressive, like I just wanted the workout to end, the moment I became the most aggressive, went back to the barbell quicker than I wanted to, those were my, the last three were my best ones. Like, I even failed multiple in that round, but those last three snatches were the best ones, and it really taught me something about being aggressive. Like, being aggressive when you approach the bar, instead of being timid, instead of being like, thinking, thinking, thinking in my head, in my head, in my head, oh no, I fail, but like, let's get this, let's go, I'm gonna do this, I'm gonna finish it, and it really like, they were well, and I'm sure they're not the prettiest snatches in the world, but for me, to be able to get that weight so consistently, so fast, was cool, was a victory, was a learning thing, and, and next time I approach snatches, I'm gonna really think about, all right, let's be aggressive here, instead of timidly trying to put whatever weight in the air. The last piece for the day was an interval workout every three minutes for 12 minutes, 15 kettlebell swings at 53 pounds, 21 burpees to a target, and then 15 toes to bar. I did the first round as prescribed. Second round, I had to go to 15 burpees because I was dying. And then the third round, I did 15, but I didn't finish the toes to bar. And the last round, I did 15, but then I didn't finish the toes to bar in the time limit. Of all 
you guys who like made that time limit with the official weight and, and prescription and all that, like, what in the world? I can't do that yet. I'll get there. Like I said, I've seen the biggest increase in performance and my performance through doing more interval work. The problem is this became less like an interval and rest and more of just like a work through and then oh no I've got to start the next round again and then oh no and then you just fall into this hole and it was you know a deep dark hole. But all in all, like at the end of the day, this was one of the best training sessions I had. I was feeling good, feeling back at it. Yesterday's did not go as well, and I ended up not doing one of the things because I was just so beat up and just down. Today was a lot better. I did it more in the afternoon. Yesterday's was like at 6.30 in the morning, six in the morning. This one was at like 10 in the morning. So I kind of had more time to like awaken. <laughs> And I wasn't so like, ugh. But all in all, great training day. Thank you guys so much for watching. If there's anything you guys wanna know, or see, or anything I can change or improve, let me know in the comments below. Until next time, peace.